I'm here on the streets of Coburg with Jade from Jade Imagine. We're gonna do a bit of a walk and talk, like West Wing style, and reenact your walking around uh, video clip. Very, <laughs> very natural. To the city. What was the idea behind uh, shooting the, the clip, like just walking around on the streets of Coburg? Like, what do these streets um, mean to you? We chose this street in particular because there weren't many people walking along it, so we could <laughs> essentially bring in all of our crew and take up the street and not get in trouble. But we ended up kind of getting in trouble anyway. Um, we were at the BP and the guy who owned the car wash next to the BP was like, guys, what are you doing? And he like totally let rip. The, the kind of songs you make sort of suit this kind of urban environment. In your ideal world, when people listen to your new EP, what environment would they be in? Spiritually and physically, they would be on the coast. A lot of the time I right and I feel like maybe there's some kind of connection to the coast there because I, that's where I grew up. In my mind I think maybe they've got some kind of like coastal vibe about them but I've been told that they're not like that at all. You've played with a lot of, uh, in a lot of other people's bands, so you played in Teeth and Tongue and you played with, with Jess Ribeiro as well. What prompted you to kind of step out into, into the limelight so to speak? I've just got a massive ego <laughs> sure. and I just had to like play, have my own band, no, not really. Both like unique and interesting experiences and awesome bands to play with. But you know, I guess there's always like something that, you know, makes you want to do your own thing if you sure. are that way inclined. You recorded the EP in people's homes, right? Like partially in, in, your, yeah. in your house, was it? We recorded at my house, yeah. in my bedroom, with drums and we made a control room in the hallway. Sure. So in a home situation, you have the luxury of time because you're not paying per hour. The downside is that everyone's, you know, putting in time. You're like, please, I don't have any money. Can you please put some time in? <laughs> now the EP is called uh, "What the Fuck Was I Thinking." Where did that title come from? Like, it seems like a bit of a, a bit of a self-loathing. Like, oh, you know, what was I fucking doing? I didn't have a title for the EP, and then Milk Records were like, hey. Is there a title for this? And You're like, oh, and I was yeah. like, what the fuck was I thinking? Ha <laughs> ha. And then, um, and they were like, oh great, okay. Mm. But I actually think it's really fitting because um, when you go down the the wormhole of writing and recording. Sometimes you come out the other end and you're like, whoa, what was that? What's coming up in the near near future? You're playing a bunch of shows with the band. Last week or two weeks ago when I played a show, um, Jen Chloe came up to me and said, look mate, you better you better bring it. You better I wanna see rock moves. I wanna I wanna be moved. Yeah. I want to feel things. I wanna laugh and cry. 